everyone, it's Carly Reese and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing kind of a glow up and get ready with me video. So basically I'm just going to go through the steps of getting ready with me. I'm going to do a little bit of face care. I'm going to do my makeup, do my hair, and pick out an outfit. So first up, I'm just going to be using a toner pad all over my face. This is actually from Tula, so I just use this and pretty much put it all over my face. Makes my skin really smooth, not gonna lie, I'm not sure exactly what it does, but whenever I put it on, it just makes my face really smooth and I feel super clean. And next, I'm going to also put on the skincare product from Tula. It is a protect and glow sunscreen. I like to use it because it makes my face look really shiny, but it also is sunscreen and it is important to wear sunscreen every single day. I like to put this all over my face as well. We kind of just jumped right into the video today. Like, we didn't even talk, we just started going. And now my fave is this Cetaphil moisturizer. I use a lot of this because I love it. And I also, when I'm like blending out my concealer and like foundation stuff, I add a little bit of moisturizer because I like to blend it out with my fingers. My face is so dry, so sometimes like putting on concealer and stuff, it just doesn't like blend into my face. So sometimes I just add a tiny bit of moisturizer. But moisturizer is what I live by because I have the driest skin in the world. So my face is like pretty much soaking wet right now, so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. But then I'm going to take some Neosporin and every once in a while, I put some of it on my nose piercing, especially because when I have my hoop in, it gets infected really fast. It just always kind of is infected, so I'm always putting Neosport on it to try to get it to heal. Alright, so now I'm moving into the makeup portion of my Get Ready With Me. And basically my first step is to take a concealer and put it under my eyes and in any other spots that I really would need it. But for the most part, the target area is my eyes. I kind of have it set up this way so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna put two little dots under my eyes, kind of towards the corner, and then just two dots on my eyelids. And my moisturizer is still kind of like wet on my face, so this is going to blend out very easily. But basically, I just use my finger my hands are clean, by the way. I don't really like to use beauty blenders that much because I feel like it just really takes the makeup right off your face. And it has a lot of dirt on it. And if you use them every single day, I know you don't wash them every single day, so it's kind of just like dirt getting put under your face every time you put your makeup on. Now, as you can tell, my under eye circles are a little bit more covered up and I kind of have like a primer base on my lids. For my next step, I usually go right into eyeliner because I don't like to do it last because I mess up a lot, so it's just a lot easier to do it before everything else. So if I do mess up and I have to take my makeup off, then I don't have to take it off of my entire face. But I will show you guys how I do my eyeliner because a lot of people ask. So here's the little thing I use. It's from Smashbox. There used to be two other colors in here, but they kind of shattered and I use this for dance but I don't use this anymore and I really like the shade of brown. So this is what I use and I use a small little angled brush to put it on. So what I do is I take like a random little spot, not in the corner of my eye, but not in like the middle. So I kind of just go a little bit closer to the corner and pick a little spot. So I'm not sure if you guys can see, but I made like a little dot there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of drag that line out diagonally I'll do that really quick. So there is the line, and now what I'm going to do is go in the corner of my eye and connect that to the point right there. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of makes like the little triangle. So here it is all finished, and I did that on my first try, and it makes me so excited how I used to have to do like eyeliner like over and over again, and I could never get it right, but now I can do it on the first try. But the problem is it's so hard sometimes to get the eyes to match. So now really quickly, I'm going to do the other eye. Now my other wing is finished, and honestly, I'm going to be honest, not every time I do my eyeliner, it's 
not always even on both sides if that makes sense like sometimes they're a little bit off but I just leave it because when you put mascara on it's really not that noticeable so now next I'm going to go in with my foundation this is Neutrogena shade 40 and nude and I really only apply this to like my cheek area because sometimes they are a little more red or a little more pale and this kind of just makes my face color look a little bit more even. Basically I just apply a little bit of it to each of my cheeks and also I put some dots under my eyes because that kind of balances out the concealer because my concealer is really light for my skin. So again, I'm going to take my hands and blend this out. Now my face color looks a little bit more even and I'm going to go in with this butter bronzer and lightly contour my face. And now that I lightly contoured my face, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of powder and I kind of put this all over my face in a way because my foundation is very wet because of the moisturizer. So I kind of apply it like under my eyes and obviously right under my contour and just a little bit on my forehead because it's looking a little greasy from the makeup. So now I just let this kind of sit for a second. But while I'm letting it sit, I use this Great Lash Clear Mascara and I use it to brush my eyebrows up like this. I'm going to take my beauty blender and kind of wipe off the powder and blend it into my face. Now for the last step and the most important, I curl my eyelashes and put mascara on. I don't really wear like eyeshadow and stuff like that like most of the time. I'm just doing like eyeliner and a little bit of foundation and mascara is like my go-to makeup look. But now I'm going to curl my hair. So right now I'm just going to use my brush and brush it all the way out. Today I'm going to be curling my hair with my Kaposi straightening iron and curler. It's actually a two in one. I have actually shared this straightening iron in a video before and I talked about why I loved it so much. but. Since some of you might be new here or you didn't see the other video, I will explain why this is my favorite straightening iron. So basically, my favorite part about it is like, look, look at the numbers just going up. That's how fast this is heating up. So a lot of straightening irons I've got in the past, like I'm in a hurry sometimes when I'm doing my hair. They just take a really long time to heat up and also they don't heat up enough. I don't like to curl my hair with like super high heat but like 350 is a reasonable number and this straightening iron actually goes anywhere from 250 all the way to 450 so that's a big range and everyone has different hair types so this is just amazing for anyone and another thing I love about it is I actually forget to unplug my straightening irons like all the time which is horrible <laughs> and this actually has like an auto shut off so if it's plugged in for like a certain amount of time it will shut off which is amazing because house fires are horrible and we would not want that to happen. So here is how I actually curl my hair. I kind of start towards the back with like this size piece and take my hair like this and then I wrap it through the inside and I just slowly work my way down. Ah, it just curls this and it's super cute. I love really light curls so I love the way that this looks on my hair. So here is one side of my hair all done. Obviously I still have to brush it out but here is the difference between my natural hair and my curled hair and I honestly love it so much. Some people are always asking me what I use to curl my hair because people like the way my hair looks when it's curled. And I just wanted to let you guys know that this is called the Kaposi V5 and you can actually get this off of Amazon. And there is a coupon as well. So make sure you guys take advantage of this. I love this straightening iron. It's like multi-purpose. You can use it to straighten and curl your hair. It heats up really quickly. Like I said, it also has like the time limit to turn off. So it's really safe as well. And just overall, this is a straightening iron I would recommend to people. So now my hair is all finished. I'm going to let it sit and let the heat die down so I can brush it out and the curls will still stay. So here's what my hair looks like. I think it is super cute. All right, so now I'm just going to take the brush and kind of brush through my hair. At first, it's going to look a little weird, but just wait and see. This is how I curl my hair every time. So now I'm going to let it go all back and kind of run my hands over it. And now I'm going to brush my hair completely back. So 
so now I have some more volume to my hair so here is how I do my hair I also have little curtain bangs as well so that's what my hair kind of does that but now it's time to go pick out a super cute outfit so it is a little bit warmer outside today so I want to wear a short sleeve shirt so I bought this thrift shopping it was actually a dress and I cut it into a shirt and there's also like a matching skirt but and then there's this which is kind of a more chill vibe it is like an oversized just men's shirt and I feel like I'm going to try both of them on because I'm not sure how the other top is going to look and if it doesn't look good I want to wear the oversized comfy one. So I actually do like the shirt. It's a little bit wider at the bottom which kind of bothers me but I think it is really cute. You can kind of see my bra line through it but overall I really like the shirt. And here are the pants I decided to wear with it. So these are just some basic blue ripped jeans. Super cute. You can see kind of the back in the mirror really cute but here is a like 360 of my hair here's what it looks like in the back and here's what it looks like in the front and here is my makeup so I am all ready for the day so thank you guys for watching this get ready with me and glow up video I really love doing get ready with me so I think it's just super fun and it's a way to kind of show you guys how I get ready because a lot of you have questions sometimes how I do my makeup or how I do my hair and stuff so I love that I'm able to answer your guys's questions for you and also just kind of have a little bit of a conversation with you guys thank you guys for watching this video if you guys like the Kaposi straightening iron I shared today don't forget to go check it out on Amazon it is called the Kaposi v5 and again there is a coupon you can use so don't miss out on that either so thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you guys liked it. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.